What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a quick film review in the form of the classic film Citizen Kane. So I decided to rewatch the film just because it showed up as a recommended film on HBO Max and I was trying to remember if I had actually seen the film and I had very memories of it but part of it was that because it's such a popular and classic film that um, that's why I might have remembered it and then the whole ending line with Rosebud is in my mind so for some reason you know maybe back in, in junior high or high school was right around the time I saw it, so definitely pre-2000 so since it was recommended on HBO Max I decided to give it a watch so I could knock it off my bucket list make sure that I remember and I can uh, list it as a film that I've seen so overall I can kind of see why it is revered as a good film you have a reporter and a bunch of reporter or I guess mainly one reporter going back in time chronicling a prolific newspaper mogul to find out the meaning behind his final word rosebud so that whole look backwards in time as a retrospective and then going forward through um, Charles Keynes's life um, was very well done you get to see his um, humble beginnings how he became rich his various his troubled life with his various marriages and all of that so in general I thought all of it was well done and then even up until the end when they have the closing scene with um, Keynes's sled having the word rosebud on it to um, be his retrospective of a simpler life where it was just him and his mom and all of that so in general I thought it was a pretty good film um, so if you haven't seen it at this point I would recommend watching it if you want a good character comparison as far as what a modern um, comparison would be like I would probably compare him to um, Tony Stark's dad um, in the MCU just because it feels like Tony Stark's dad was modeled off of Citizen Kane as far as um, speaking structure, life, rise to uh, wealth and fortune. The only thing that I probably would say is different is maybe the whole idea be in the, with marriages, but um, you do in the MCU at least you ha know about the troubled history between Tony and his dad. And that Star Tony's dad was doing the best he could under the circumstances based on what we saw in Endgame. So one of those things where um, it's the, everyone wants to become successful but success has a price. So um, all in all, like I said, overall it's a good movie so there's not really much for me to recommend. Um, that probably hasn't been said before. As far as um, not remembering it, I mean... A lot of the speaking styles is of the time, um, so just think of like old timey news radio and news reels. Um, the film isn't black and white, so it's one of those things that probably results in, I mean it's not that it doesn't hold up, it does feel like more like a documentary than a classic film. Um, and not to say that it can't be remade, but I got to thinking that if um, Marl, I want to say Marlon Brando is still alive, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but if there was ever a Citizen Kane remake, then he would be a good person to um, be in that remake. And even any of the guys that play Tony Stark's dad in the MCU would work as a good character replacement. Just because they embody that look and feel and speaking style that we see in Citizen Kane. And then you can um, fill out the rest of the cast accordingly from there. Um, but that's really all I've got to say about that. I mean, I was thinking about what to review, what I could say was good or bad, but you know, you have the intrepid reporter, you have the distraught ex-wives, you have the various people peripherally who are keeping the secrets, who don't, didn't, who never understood um, Keynes' obsession with collecting trinkets and statues and things from all over the world, and ultimately having to sell it off as part of the estate. Um, but beyond that, that's, I mean, that's all, it's all part of the good casting and good style choice of the film. So I definitely recommend giving it a watch or a rewatch if you haven't seen it in some time. Um, I think it's only a couple of hours of a movie, so it does go by pretty quickly. Um, but that's really all there is about that. Um, 
and as far as a, in a, one of the recent reviews, I was trying kind of comparing it to a William Hurst style of character, um, the guy behind the Hurst Castle, and I can kind of see how that comparison is made just because of all the, um, I guess all the um, lore and the trouble that he went through in order to build his um, estate in the form of Hearst Castle, which can be seen in Citizen Kane in the form of him building his empire and ultimate uh, not necessarily downfall, but all the troubles and issues that he had in his life as he was uh, making it big. So that's all there is for this particular review. So um, I just kind of wanted to get it out there. I know I had promised it, or I had at least put it on the list for patrons of a movie to see that I was going to see and do a review on if possible. So um, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, something I missed, something you like, dislike, something I got wrong, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is HeadphonesNeal.Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, you can support the show and get updates on upcoming content and bonus episodes and things like that on Patreon at Patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.